Hello everybody, I'm JP Nordia uh, from the Western Province Sports Council and tonight is of course Sports Federation TV where we talk about the various federations that uh, belong to the Western Province Sports Council which incidentally now since uh, the uh, AGM on uh, Wednesday night is now no longer known as the Western Province Sports Council it is now the Cape Town Sports Council officially the Cape Town Sports Council. I've got some interesting guests coming up on the show. I'm standing in for Alton Davids. He's unfortunately out injured, which in the sporting arena sounds like just the right thing to do, to be out injured. Um, we'll find out from Alton next week exactly what it is that that injury is all about and whether or not that injury occurred in the sporting arena. Coming up in the show tonight, we'll be uh, talking to a number of our guests, but we'll start it off with shooting. With me now is the chairperson of the Western Province, otherwise known as the, well, you guys are still the Western Province, uh, the Western Province Practical Pistol Shooting Association, uh, Hisham Ali, and of course, uh, Bernadette uh, Remarkle, is that correct, uh, Hisham? Yeah, yeah, you're correct there. And Bernadette, well, welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having Thank us. You. All right, Isham, let's start off with you. IPSC, I was asking you to do just before we started the show, what does IPSC stand for? I think tonight is all about uh, us telling the viewers what is pistol shooting about, uh, your organization, and speaking to Bernadette a little bit about shooting, which makes her, of course, a very dangerous goal. But I'm sure you've heard that many times. Um, Hisham, uh, IPSC, tell us about that. IPSC basically is practical shooting, and it is a sport which has developed over the last number of years. Um, in the last 40, 50 years, it's developed into a sport, into a world-class event. There's uh, 109 regions, which is basically, uh, sorry, 102 regions, which is effectively is 102 countries yeah, that yeah. is representative in the sport. We have a world shoot every three years. We've got continental shoots annually. So you'll yeah. have an Africa shoot, you'll have an Asian shoot, you'll have a North American okay, let's shoot just, and so on. Before we get into the whole world uh, demographics okay. of, of, of shooting, uh, you know, we've got, uh, in fact, we're speaking to the guys from Spearfishing today, so they do a different style of right. shooting as well. Now, you mentioned, I, I think I said pistol shooting before, and you then mm. uh, looked at me funny and said, hang on, this is practical shooting. This obviously knows nothing about shooting. <laughs> so you guide us through this because we've got shotgun shooting and rifle shooting and all sorts of different formats. So when you talk about practical Practical shooting, what, what, what exactly is okay. it? How does it work? Practical shooting encompasses all of those firearms. Handguns, yeah. shotguns, rifles, and machine carbines. Machine carbines? Yes, machine carbines is what we know as our fully semi-automatic rifles. All right, Not fully, uh, sorry, semi-automatic I was about rifles. to say, what, what is a fully okay. semi-automatic so, <laughs> so, so that's ri a rifle. It's just a rifle. Okay, yeah. so what happens is you get different disciplines. Yeah. And within each of those disciplines, you get different divisions. Okay. So in your handgun division, you'll get a standard firearm, which you buy off from the shelf, and you can shoot. Right. It's called a standard firearm. Okay. Then you get an open, which is a modified so firearm. It's the same standard firearm, which you modify. Okay, so back to the, just on the standard firearm. Are we talking about, you know, when we see in the movies, the 9 mils, and they talk about the 45s? The 9 so mils, that what, the 45s. That's okay, it. right, yes. right. Uh, so today, it's, it's, the, it's the 9 mils, the 45, the Glocks, the... Yeah. Berettas yeah. and things like that. Berettas, so. of course, what um, Mel Gibson uses in Lethal Weapon. Okay. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and then the Swiss Army apparently use Glocks. Okay. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there if okay. you're a movie fan. <laughs> okay. Then right. we've got that division. Yes. So we've handled the open division, which is yeah. a modified firearm. So yeah. it's a standard firearm, okay. but you've modified it. Okay. When you talk about modifications... Modifications kind of is things like you put a compensator on, which people would identify as a silencer. Yeah. You know, that type of thing, a compensator. Right, right. Uh, that's it. Um, okay. All it really does, it, it blows the smoke out the, the faster, allowing the second shot to come I out. I love that. You know, that I need to get a couple of compensators <laughs> for a few people that I know <laughs> who, who generally blow smoke or alternatively hot air. Um, including myself, probably. Bernadette, let's bring you into the picture. Yeah, you're you're a, a practical shooter. You, um, you, uh, you apparently you started off in the world of karate, Shokukai. I, I saw that in your bio. No, that's the name of the club, but it's not. Uh, is that the name of the club? That's so it's not a karate name. club because there is a Shokukai a karate club. That's correct. Yeah. All right. So then your 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 pistol practical shooting club is. It's called Shokukai. It's called Shokukai. Yes, you know, yes. and that's a Japanese name. Why would it be? Where's the connection? Well, I think uh, our. our our uh, what, what is Suleiman? The He's chair. the chairperson. He's the be all and end all of our club. Yeah. He, he named that club Shukukai based on his, his previous exercises, which was karate. Am I correct in saying that um, Shukukai 
practical shooting club is in the Boer Cup. That's correct. Yes. Is that in that quarry area? That's right. Oh, fantastic. I've, I mean, I've seen that. It's I getting to, too small now. I used to train up in that neck of the woods myself, just off, off the top of Strand Street areas. I know the area quite well. So you awesome. practice there? How often yes, do you practice? Yeah. Well, every Saturday I'd like to. Sometimes I do before a match. I do Saturdays and Sundays. Um, but I'd I'd like to do more than that if I can. And you do all the weapons that um, no, Aisha only, mentioned? No, I only do hand handgun, my Glock uh, 35. Right. But I do enjoy the How shotgun. How did you get into this? Well, you know, I first uh, wanted a, a firearm for self-defense. And when you own a firearm, you need to know how to use it. Yeah. So I joined the, the shooting range, and before I knew it, I was hooked. How long ago was that? It was about two, two and a half years ago now. All right. And you've, you've done quite a couple of competitions in w as well, and you've yes. been quite successful. Yes, yeah. Um, when did you enter your first competition? Wow, that would be a year and a half ago. I did my first uh, league shoot at um, the uh, other range, CPPC. Right. Cape Practical Shooting Club. So, I mean, you've progressed quite quickly to, 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 quite, to be quite successful. Yeah, so, yeah. is it the kind of sport that um, most people can come and do and, and, and can uh, migrate into some measure of success quite easily or is it a tremendous amount of training how would you rate it no um if it if you don't know if it's your passion unless you try so i yeah. do encourage people to come and try even if they want to be spectators yeah and you know i tried it i liked it i bought more than one gun and i got I, that's my sport all right so he, you never know if you never try hisham let's bring you back into the picture uh from a cost perspective and uh, obviously, from a, from a sporting perspective, we want everybody who watches TV and every man in the street, woman in the street, um, to do sport in mm. South Africa. We want mm. more sports mm. participants. How difficult is it to, be, to, to take up the sport? Are the guns very expensive? Must you have your own gun? Can you rent a gun? Tell us a little about the access into IPS. -C. Access is quite easy if you have a firearm already. Yeah. You join up a, with a sports shooting club and they have generally weekends they generally offer training right. and those who just want to come and enjoy themselves on the day they can do so as well now i see you're wearing the uh the pro tier there uh mm. tell us a little bit about competition on a national international level okay and i How are doing? represented south africa in 2011 in the greece world shoot and as i said that's every three years the next world shoot is 2017 and that will happen in france yeah uh, South Africa fielded about 48 competitors at that shoot, and um, yeah, we did we did okay. We didn't do great. We did okay. Well, but and I see you shot all the all the disciplines, including shotgun. Yeah, well, for that discipline, we only did the handgun. Yeah, you get the wall shoot shotgun, the wall shoot rifle, but locally, yeah, at the provincial level, you can participate in various disciplines where you can shoot those three firearms. Bernadette, do you, do you load? You brought some gadgets with you. I've, I've yes, I brought my rig with. Um, this is what we normally rig. use. Yeah, it's called All the right. rig. Um, you position your, your gun in the holster. Right. This is a speed holster, and then you have your different pouches for all your magazines. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, All right, then. Um, okay, so folks, here you can see, you call it this your rig, yes. right? So uh, this obviously goes around your waist, and you said this is a speed holster. Yes, you, you put your gun inside the speed holster. All right. What's yeah. the, um, what's the, I mean, obviously this, the, the word. Uh, uh, a rig. Uh, yeah, personifies the, the oh. reason for oh. speed, so you can get it out quick. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, is, is, is that the sole, the sole reason? How does it, the is it designed for The quicker you can get it out the holster, the better. Is that it? Yes. Well, it's not designed for Glock. It's ca any gun can fit in there. So when um, you're shooting, do you, do, is it a speed shoot or do you, I mean, do you have to draw and shoot or do you, do you get to stand and shoot? Uh, you get uh, to stand, you get to sit, you get to draw, you get guns and boxes. It's all different. All right. So I'm having a look here at this rig here. I'm just making sure that you haven't brought any, any ammunition. <laughs> Folks, so if you have a close look here, you can see this, which, which I thought when, when uh, Bernadette walked in that this was a... Um, a, a diving weight belt, but uh, it, it's not. This is the, the speed rig, right? So this is for your Glock. How many rounds would you shoot out on average in a, in a practice session or in a competition? In a practice, uh, well, Hisham always says, don't come to the range, less than 1,000 rounds. But hey, you know, really? if your budget's tight, I, I do about 200 to 300 rounds. I try. Thousand rounds, uh, you should no, she's exaggerating. <laughs> she's exaggerating. I think 500 should do it. 500 in a day. <laughs> yeah. You, so you were of 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 one di one discipline or five hundred of or everything combined. It's like different stages. Just you'd you'd have uh, uh, at a range. Yeah. There'd be like five or six different stages set up. 
yeah. and you'd be shooting those different stages and it would go from a minimum of nine rounds to a maximum of 32 rounds per stage. Mm. Now I'm looking at the speed rig here. This is a Glock um, magazine, obviously. Correct. Um, how, how many shells does this magazine hold? 17 inside there. 17. Yeah. And then you get boots that you can put on that you can put an extra three, which I have on yeah. my other weapon. And then I can fit 18, but it's... All right, we've got a little insert to look at. Let's, let's, uh, folks, let's see, let's check out what IPSC uh, behind the scenes is all about. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, we're, of course, talking pistol shooting with me as Hisham um, Ali, as the chairperson of the Western Province um, Practical Shooting Association, and Bernadette Ramical. Um, Bernadette, uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my movie lingo here. So you said there's 17 uh, bullets in, in this. Yes. And then one in the magazine. Yes, that will be one up, yes. One up. Yes. Aren't you supposed to say 17 in the clip and one in the pipe? You could use that terminology if you want to, yes. Really, yeah. Yeah. If you want to pull the movie now. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pull the movie all the time. <laughs> I mean, I have no choice, you know. So, so you talk about shooting 900, oh, 500 rounds. How much, how much would a round cost you? Um, and do you load it yourself? I, mean, I might have asked you that. I, I load my own rounds. Um, I haven't physically worked out the cost, but it is much cheaper. Yeah. Um, you, you buy your own powders, you get your heads, and you yeah. obviously pick up your droppies once you finish shooting right, them. Right. You clean them and you so carry on. How long does it take you to load 500 rounds of ammunition? 500 would be about two hours for me. All right. Yeah, I've got different So issues. do you have people coming for dinner and and um, they walk in and then they see you loading your ammunition and going, uh, didn't realize I had something else <laughs> on tonight. No, no, I've got a special room for, for the loading. Where, where I, I thought you were going to say you've got a special room for your guests. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Sham, let's just talk a little bit about the developmental angle of, um, of, of practical shooting. Um, of course, transformation is so important in sport in South Africa. Um, from a development angle, how are you guys doing? We have two open days annually. Yeah. Generally, in the good when when it's not so windy, it generally happens around about March yeah. and September of each year. Uh, that's when we go all out: radio stations, newspapers, and so on and so forth, Facebook, Twitters, and so on. And we invite people to come to our open day. The various clubs are there with the various disciplines, handgun, shotgun, rifles, yeah, yeah. and so on and so forth. And you can bring your family. We give the people eye and ear protection, yeah, which is yeah. a must. They sign in, indemnities, So it's an open day, people can have a go 
and and you got just one of the things we obviously have to mention is um, safety. Mm. People come, they they're safe. Yes, um, you are not allowed to enter the range with a loaded firearm. Right. There is a safety area. If it is loaded, you are, you are sent to the safety area. You are un unloaded. You yeah. bag your firearm. The only firearms that could be used on the day is the, uh, is the firearms from various clubs. Okay. There is a safety officer at each range. You, ca you are not allowed to pick up a weapon or touch a weapon so without the supervision. So someone's holding your hand basically guiding you all the way. All the way. All the, uh, way. the club we spoke about is in the Boer Cup, the Shoshoka Kai Club. We've got a photograph here, folks. Let's quickly have a look at the photograph. Um, Bernadette, uh, this is, the, is um, Hisham also, is this, the, this, uh, is this where you would normally have your open day at the Shoka Kai Club in the Boer Shoka Kai Club? is only one of the various clubs. Okay. There's, there's another one in the Val Drive at the foot of Table Mountain. Right. That's where we have right. our open days. Okay, so of course these are all your, your, um, your compatriots. Fantastic. Um, Hisham, just for folks that want to join, uh, want to find out more, where's the easiest place for them to get hold of you? www.wppsawipsa.co.za All right. The contact details on there, my contact details on there, our emails are on there, everything's on there. Fantastic. Bernadette, where to for you from here? Uh, what's your next big challenge? Well, I've been sponsored by Glock uh, Bernard Agencies in Joburg, so um, I'm hoping to, to go as far, far as I can. Is that one of their tops today? This is one of their tops, yes. All Obviously, right. it's, it's quite hot for me to wear it, but this is their logo. And well, let's um, have a look. Let's see it. Let, give it to me. Let me yep. make sure that we can give your sponsor uh, a couple of mentions. <laughs> there we go. Because uh, in sports space, but folks, I love this top Glock perfection. Yeah. That that really is. I mean, that everybody knows Glock is like the weapon that you can sneak through. Um, anyway, I'm not going to mention <laughs> that. But it's supposed to be the the scientific brand, I suppose. Well, it's, folks, it's so important for us to make sure that our athletes get sponsorship. So we have no problem on the sporting council to mention the names as we've done before. Um, of any sponsors who come and sponsor our athletes. So if you're out there and you want to sponsor an athlete, remember there's a TV show that covers and gives exposure to our athletes and allows them to get exposure for their sponsors, like Glock, for example. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Bernadette, thank you very much. I'm going to throw that Thanks back at you. I'm going to not throw the um, <laughs> speed rig at you, um, but I'm going to put your Glock um, clip back in there, 17 in the, in the mag and one in the pipe, so to speak. Um, I'm not going to throw this back at you, but thanks for joining us, and I'm thank sure we're going to still talk to you a lot in the future as well as some of the, the the other athletes that you've got out of the club now you know where the show is and i'm sure elton davis will be very happy to drag you guys out here so thanks for joining us on uh, sports federation tv thanks for having us thank you for having and us. hisham before you go um well done on all the the administrative work that you guys do that is one of the things that makes a successful sports federation. Your uh, compatriot Suleiman has been on the telephone a lot. So we're looking for lots of great stuff from, um, from Western Province Practical Shooting Association. Thank you. Right, folks, we'll take an ad break. And when we come back, we'll start talking about what's happening in the world of spear fishing. We'll catch up with Bruce Sandman from the Western Province Spearfishing Association. Back in a sec.